Canvas mode enables you to bring your ideas to life in new and exciting ways from creating a simple document to interactive web apps and even 3D representations. So how do you access Canvas mode? It's simple, all you need to do is select Canvas. And now let's enter our prompt. And in this example, I'm going to ask Gemini to create a document about the water life cycle for year five students. So on the left hand side, I still have my prompt and I can still chat to Gemini here. On the right hand panel, I have got everything which Gemini has generated for me. Within here, I can actually edit this text. I also have formatting options at the top here. So if I highlight this text, go to this menu, I can make this text bold, or I can change it into a heading. But most importantly, I can actually highlight text and ask Gemini to make modifications for me. So let's ask Gemini to expand this section and hit enter. And as you can see, it is aware of the context and what I had selected within this document. And it's now expanded this section for me and also helpfully highlighted the changes it has made. So now let's take this a step further. I'm going to go over to the left-hand panel again and start a new chat with Gemini. And again, let's select Canvas mode. And now I'm gonna ask Gemini to create an interactive web app showing the water life cycle. Now let's press enter again. And this time, rather than taking me to a page where I can just edit a document, Gemini is actually generating the code for me. So as you can see here, Gemini has generated all of the HTML and CSS code. And if I select preview, Gemini will give me a live preview of this page. So let's see this in action and press start cycle. We can see evaporation being demonstrated on screen, followed by condensation and so on. And then what I can also do, if I go back to the code view, I can actually copy this code and then embed this into a Google site I've created earlier. So let's enter our embed code here, press next, and then let's press insert, and then resize this to make the best use of the page space we've got here. And now if I preview the site, I've got an interactive embedded web app showing the water life cycle, which I can share with my students. Now let's take this a step further with Canvas. This time, I'm going to ask Gemini to create a 3D representation of the solar system. And let's press enter. So this is a bit more complicated. It's gonna take Gemini a little longer to generate this for us. Helpfully on the left-hand side here, it tells us its approach as well. And there it is, Gemini has done a really nice job of creating a 3D representation of the solar system. But it's not quite there yet. Let's ask Gemini to make some modifications for us. So firstly, it would be nice to see some stars in the background to make it a bit more immersive. So let's ask Gemini to add some stars in the distance. Perfect, so Gemini has now added a star field for us to make this a bit more immersive. Let's now also add a key showing a list of the planets along with related facts. Okay, and now let's try selecting a planet and we should see some facts appear. Perfect, so we've got some facts about Jupiter. Let's try selecting our planet so hopefully you've seen now how you can use Gemini as your collaboration partner. And now we've generated this in Gemini, we can share this or we can copy this code and take and use this in other websites. So now hopefully you've seen how you can use Gemini as your collaboration partner to not just create documents, but also interactive websites and web apps like this. Canvas mode is a really powerful tool. So do experiment with different prompts and elements and see what you can create.